Hi everyone. Uh, first of all, thanks for watching this video. Today we are going to discuss about a plugin concept in the sale point IAQ. So I am going to explain you about every configuration in IAQ plugin. First of all, in common words, what is uh, meant by plugin? A plugin is a software add-on that installed on a program enhanced its capabilities. Uh, for example, if you want to watch a video on a website, you may need a plugin to do so. If the plugin is not installed, your browser will not understand how to play the video. This is how in a real time world uh, plugin helps. Uh, coming to sale point identity IQ. What is sale point identity IQ? So sale point identity IQ is an identity and access management software platform custom built for complex enterprises. It delivers full life cycle and compliance management for provisioning, access request, access certification, and separation of duties. Uh, now let's uh, get into now introduction to sale point plugin. Plugin framework is an extension framework model for identity IQ. It enables the third parties to develop rich application and service level enhancement to the core sale point platform. It enables plugin to extend the standard user interface and delivers custom REST endpoints and delivers custom background services and uh, all etc. So these all the following which are going to be mentioned can be included in a plugin. Now a client side front end can be designed through a plugin and rest web services can be configured through plugin and surface definitions, policy definitions and task definitions, implementations. We have some inbuilt uh, sale point plugins uh, that were mentioned in our task definitions, sale point build plugins that which I'm going to showcase you next slides coming slides like uh, task definitions can be done in those and java classes like a, you can uh, develop a jar for your custom works and all others the database tables can be uh, the modification of those tables can be done through these plugins during your uh, initial installation identity iq is set up to work with plugins a separate plugin table identity iq plugin been created as a part of database schema creation scripts and the plugin run sql scripts plugin import objects and plugins enable the properties are set to true in the iq property files to disable plugin completely in identity iq set the plugin property value as false so there will be no plugins will be accepted by sale point identity iq the plugin framework manages the installation and loading of plugins. It provides class path isolation on server side. Implementers are free to use any third party libraries on technology they choose, as long as it can be served from a REST endpoint. A background services or a Java classes called from scripts. Java scripts isolations on client side implementers are free to use a third party client side and libraries also so core code when coming to core code protection a, a framework uh, ensures and certifies no plugin overrides or changes the back end product code behavior essential for security and upgrading now coming to web services extensions part when you talk about web services ex uh, extensions, implementers can define custom REST endpoints to push and pull data between their plugins and the sale point data mod model. Plugin installation and removal are very easy for doing in sale point. It would dy dynamically, everything is configured already. Plug uh, provide drag, just drag and drop and zip file 
uh, that uh, pl accordingly to the plugin configurations so a plugin user interface can be simply as a piece of a javascript or a test injected on an uh, existing page or a full page uh, plugin a behavior according to the implementers uh, implementers uh, uh, acknowledge so the behavior is defined uh, by the manifest dot xml file in plugin root directory this is the key directory for the plugin now coming to plugin object model a plugin is defined in identity iq by plugin xml object uh, this object defines parameters of the plugin such as rest resource snippets widgets and different settings such now plugin object is defined completely in the manifest.xml file like it is uh, uh, for example if you uh, if you done uh, any jar creation uh, before everything you configure according to accordingly in manifest file of that jar and you uh, creates the jar and jar functionality takes through same as well the plugin will also uh, takes its uh, core from manifest.xml file accordingly it functions that defines the features of the plugin this object tells identity iq what features are in your plugin by defining them uh, like attributes or in the attributes of a plugin object the plugin object also define items such as the name of the plugin rights required like capabilities uh, for using uh, the end of versions uh, the rest resource and the snippets here in this table you can observe uh, different attributes that can that are included in the manifest file for example you take the name this is the unique value unique name of the plugin which cannot be repeated anywhere else and the date of installation the display name so the name attribute can be different and the display name what the user sees or a, a developer or initializer sees can be different and a disabled status so it is a generally a boolean true or false so rights required for using it like a, the capability rights version of the plugin you can uh, you, when the upgradation comes place for the plugin according to the technology or according to the world so we can mention uh, we can update uh, different versions of this plugin uh, through this uh, versions and minimum system versions definitely your uh, uh, sale point version maximum system version this is also your sale point version and different uh, list of attributes in the file references and all can be mentioned in this developing a plugin uh, identity iq stores a plugin in a dot zip archive file of the plugin identity iq database like a plugin will be loaded from the dot zip first of all it looks for the manifest file immediately after uh, you drag and drop the file if everything is accordingly uh, followed by rules in manifest uh, xml file it will take in and identity iq database uh, data uh, long blob in spt file dot bucket table so in this table you can uh, in the identity iq master database you can uh, observe this plugin data so the reference ids and all will be generated uh, accordingly and uh, stored in this uh, table and uh, the dot zip file extracted and all important are cached for the later use so when uh, several accessor methods to reference the cached file but they can also be referenced by the url prefix uh, slash identity iq slash plugin name followed by the path found in the build structure when uh, now when coming to this uh, plugin structure what what can be included in this uh, plugin structure uh, uh, like uh, if you have followed by path uh, 
like include this following all components in, in plugin manifest file is a key thing all of these can be according to the requirement like build file database scripts or ui elements xml artifacts java classes java libraries doll etc these can be accordingly to the requirements but the manifest file is a mandatory thing for a uh, plugin uh, for a basic plugin to develop uh, you can develop uh, just a ui page and a manifest file accordingly you can create a uh, plugin you can uh, install in your iq and uh, you can test it i'll show you that process too in coming slides so within each segment of the version number the value between the decimal point the values are cast as integer and legendary zeros are trimmed here for example if you give the version as 04 and 0004 are both inter intercepted as 4 only a segment contains non numeric value here intercepted as 0 so what what, what generally do is 1.004 dot alpha is parsed as 1.4.0 and another example is like 2.3.4a is parsed as 2.3.0 it it inbuilt configures these version numbers in this way even if you give like 2.3.4a it will be passed as 2.3.0 so how what is a basic manifest file let's see an example of basic manifest file how it looks like so uh, here these are some attributes uh, basic attributes like a no basic manifest file example uh, if you see if you observe keenly what are the attributes that are described like name uh, name is the key part and uh, display name uh, i mentioned the name and display name as same and this is of minimum system version like iq version uh, minimum version is 8.1 i installed myself in 8.2 so i used minimum version system version is 8.1 now version of this plugin is mentioned here as a 1.2 i developed a first version and 1.0 and 1.1 and this was a 1.2 uh, this like a pc uh, this will be like a welcome to plugin or like a page title of the plugin i i created a, a rest resource plugin this was the example of that here if you see the list i'm um, using a, a rest resource so this is my ens tutorial iq plugin main class this is all my class uh, my class name which i kept here this is a multi-part rest plugin for jersey so uh, if you uh, if you see, want to see the director structure how the inside plugin will, here will be see if you observe this is in a plugin zip archive file it's a zip archive file in that if you see the structure how it is built in a ui element page.xhtml the html page of that uh, plugin and uh, if you see the <coughs> Uh, these are in inbuilt uh, hex html file libraries that i am using angular uh, angular js scripts those are inside a ui you can keep them and the manifest file and the main directory direct directory and inside the libraries i am keeping my jar and uh, in import and install directories if you observe which is uh, pinged with a uh, pinged with a red mark these uh, these are like uh, important uh, installed directories like rules or uh, you can observe you can uh, write any custom made rules or uh, like uh, or uh, any uh, uh, like any custom objects or uh, any uh, custom objects or uh, any uh, email templates or uh, any workflows or any rules uh, any objects that you basically want to import uh, for the support of the plugin you can directly import these objects through this plugin but there is a catch here the objects uh, which are imported and uh, 
uh, inside the sale point whenever uh, in future if you want to remove uh, and uninstall this plugin if you uninstall these objects will be uh, left left back so the emit behavior might include showing or hiding additional fields depending on a previous selection for example if a user chooses a basic authentication a username password field would appear but if auth authentication is chosen it might more appropriate to show the access token field so in plugin settings are at it's available for modification as a part of installation only you can see in the settings in the configure uh, configure page i'll showcase you all those pages all those phases in front in front now coming to plugin build file uh, apache ant is a readily available tool that can be used to package plugins prior to deployment and distribution to provide build to a specific values a standard is to also include build or properties file with a simple key value pair for all build specific tokens see if you see the example is that how properties files can be leveraged to enable multiple developers to use the same build process despite of having dissimilar build environments the actual build.xml file is responsible for creating the build directory compiling any java classes packaging those uh, compiled classes into .jar archive files and uh, archive in zip format uh, complete plugin so note that complications can arise when plugin is built using different versions of uh, java than version is deployed on application server hosting identity iq uh, see these are, this is a script if you observe this script apache ant script actually uh, uh, this is a class path which uh, class path uh, which uh, the plugin is stored in a tomcat uh, 8.3 server 8.0.3 server in identity iq the Uh, in the plugin name, the, here the manifest.xml file you can observe in this uh, path. He the now uh, this is a basic example of uh, the plugin build build plugin uh, from sale point. This is the best example plugin identity of uh, identity IQ object exporter plugin. Uh, the uh, object exporter is a custom identity iq task for a quick and easy export of uh, uh, xml objects like if you want to export some rules email templates workflows or a, or a, like a, uh, uh, email templates or managed attributes for entitlements or applications uh, these all can be easily exported through the object exporter how it functions means uh, for now uh, if you want to one or two objects you will just copy paste and uh, copy paste in a separate file and you will save that file in a .xml file you will remove those uh, ids and uh, reference ids or modified or any references uh, you will remove them manually just imagine uh, if you are in a project and you are using number of objects like uh, 27 rules uh, 7 to 8 workflows uh, three applications uh, many like 11 to 12 email templates 14 15 uh, custom objects just imagine how hard it will be for a developer to remove each and every id manually or each and every modified id or any reference id each and every reference id manually how to remove that it takes a really lot amount of time it kills more amount of time so simply here in this object exporter uh, uh, this uh, uh, build file this is best uh, very very beautiful uh, uh, designed uh, for a developer like uh, just mention those names according uh, accordingly and uh, if you just run the task you give you have to give the directory file path in this uh, tasks it uh, just goes there and simply saves all your files according to the object names it, it is uh, really very configurable and very helpful to a developer it can it, it will add uh, uh c data 
sections uh, on escape bean shell code for the scripts like uh, you know workflows or rules those uh, you write as scripts the, the, the this is a very helpful uh, best and best example uh, plugin uh, so uh, uh, plugin database scripts so the plugin framework creates a database named uh, identity iq plugin it, it will create separately identity iq plugin uh, this so uh, the creation of this uh, database is uh, handled by installation of uh, scripts packaged with every download of identity iq in a web inf folder in database for or a database folder when creating a plugin you must create a folder named db in your project directory this folder should be further uh, subdivided into three operating specific folders uh, install uninstall and upgrade so accordingly when you uninstall it can be saved uh, these uh, scripts there so if you want this uh, object exporter plugin to test in your environment you want to see how this functions you can uh, observe this cell uh, uh, point community link uh, accordingly you can find this uh, object exporter plugin link you just need to install this and uh, you may try this uh, through this link now coming to plugin uh, user uh, plugin user interface elements so most uh, plugins have some uh, additional user interfaces uh, components that appear in uh, and like uh, uh, as of uh, said uh, uh, we, we take the uh, uh, any plugin you know, with uh, the plugin I created was a user creation identity creation plugin. What is the key thing in that is uh, uh, requirement is a CSV file should be uploaded and according to the data from the CSV file, identity should be created in bulk. Like uh, the CSV file consists of uh, user information about uh, 1000, 10,000, 5000 users. Uh, everything should be created manually it's a big task for a developer so you just need to upload that csv file accordingly come uh, all the 5000 or 10000 identities will be created automatically for this we need a ui page element to upload this page so here these user interface elements uh, can be used very good and uh, so most of the plugins have uh, some additional user interface components that appears in identity Im iq images css files html templates and uh, javascripts uh, can uh, all be used to provide the interactions and uh, view required by the plugin so to an extent these classes uh, loaded with your plugin to the rest of identity iq you must specify declare those classes in the manifest file correctly so in the plugin uh, xml artifacts uh, everything in a import folder uh, imported you can directly import and install as shown in the plugin structure before structure before there will be a directory of import and install what are the all the all the different what are all the different directories that were there uh, oh, sorry, what are important install directory? What are all the different custom objects, custom objects or rules, workflows, applications, any objects that were there that can directly be imported and installed through the plugin inside Cellphone IQ. So now coming to plugin Java classes, uh, relies uh, heavily, uh, plugin frameworks relies very heavily on uh, REST web services. E integration majority of uh, uh, creation read and update and delete operations to create a custom rest resource extend a base plugin resource dot class secure the new endpoints uh, the base plugin resource class should be used as the base classes for all the resources it provides access to utility methods for accessing plugin settings getting a database connections and more get connections to 
data source specified the method get connections is used for uh, connections to data in IAQ properties of plugin get a plugin name this is a another method like this these were all different methods that we can find and uh, object a list of parameter value if any of these to be used authorized should be overwritten by implementers but by default only ensure system administrator can see everything uh, end to end oh, this is all on our base plugin this is a process of a plugin installation and uh, removal process where uh, oh, we go to the gear icon there will be a drop down we select the plugin space uh, simply you will uh, uh, request for a new plugin you will select the plugin uh, from your uh, browse uh, you will browse the plugin for like plugin which plugin you want to here i uh, object exporter plugin this was installed here uh, sale point build plugin this is the process and installation steps uh, for uh, now coming to introduction of a bulk user creation plugin here as i as i said uh, this plugin was uh, designed for uh, creating identities in a bulk at a time uh, a one time uh, bulk approval so here the key uh, features is accessibility of modules bulk upload through ui status and tracking the perfect audit and logs bad data notification emails if any users of a format or naming conventions or any format is not a correct uh, uh, notification through emails uh, provisioning notification emails approvals and uh, provisioning to applications any so uh, let's take a scenario of a high level before how it used to be there used to be a requester that uh, or a manager that requests for an identity identity or in excel sheet uh, he keeps a mail to the next level manager to please create uh, our following uh, uh, report is uh, in a sale point iaq and that manager will uh, uh, to, uh, connect to sale point uh, uh, sale point manager sale point product manager iaq manager to create a, a, a identities as of in a excel sheet all the 5000 or 10000 identities uh, or user values so a validation team takes place all the validations uh, one by one uh, they'll divide the work and they'll validate the records uh, one by one uh, everything is uh, up to date uh, according to sale point requirements uh, and then validation teams uh, forward the to identity creation team and the identity creation team manually creates every identity that needs to be created uh, so uh, and then uh, uh, the identity will be generated successfully this is all a whole lot of process uh, what is taking uh, right now what is the scenario that uh, generally follows uh, an identity should be provisioned through if provision through sale point uh, wanted to provision through sale point to any applications like gws uh, active directory or uh, any ldap applications or any web service applications uh, any applications that need to be provisioned through sale point this is all the whole lot of process uh, it's uh, going on here we process uh, through this uh, plugin high end user simply uh, takes a csv file with all the data he had means uh, uh, data he had all the 5000 or 10000 users information in csv file saves accordingly and then he sends a email to a requester or uploads uh, uploads that uh, uh, csv file in the ui page so a ui page and the owner will get a request for a form a form will be raised in sale point iaq uh, whether it should be approved or false and email reminder for both end user and owner will be sent accordingly if the form is approved uh, to identity creation so it will uh, identity will be created automatically with all the format validations and all things what is required for sale point and uh, all it was taken through email of all the approved users which, which are identities got successfully created it will be sent as email and what are the identities you didn't got what are the user 
uh, details which are not got created as an identity in sale point iq will be sent as a bad notification email and the reasons of that uh, uh, following why it is didn't get created and all and then if it is rejected simply it will send as a email it is not rejected so and so the owner can give so and so reason accordingly uh, this is how uh, this custom plugin of user creation in bulk uh, works so uh, integration through sale point simple as a csv file uh, it goes to we are using plugin integration this is a plugin phase where you can observe and uh, this is a uh, here there is a api we are using uh, for uploading in sale point as simply as a rest api we are using it uh, simply a csv file will be uploaded in this uh, rest api ui element and then uh, uh, simply it will be bent into uh, uh, it will re rest api will receive and the following uh, file will be received to sale point and uh, according to the approval uh, it uh, takes place identity creation that is all if you have any question answer uh, questions uh, you can just uh, uh, comment and uh, through our please subscribe to nh social for further technical updates thank you